Listening. What do you come to me with? Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why do you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Actually, that's exactly what I think. The world might seem black and white to you witches, but for us common folk, it's shades of grey. As is my family's Sorry, but your life story, just not interested. This isn't a social call. I'm here on business. Will you at least tell me how Anna wound up in that blasted bog? She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child. A child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her, tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Do what you will, but leave me out of this. You ask me, wading through the swamp to mess with the crones? Just plain stupid. What would you have me do? Sit on my ass and wait for her return? I'll send men, go with them myself, and we will pull her out. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid race. I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this!
You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. You helped me as well, when your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. You? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as Arnold's shit. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster. But my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Funny story? How so? I went to Novigrad once, to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern with some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horses blind. One fellow, the merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. We're barren now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Never run into anything like him. No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her.
you some hair of the hound. Got any vodka? My baby is eating me. surprised. They tried to die. Bowls. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the rock unbearable. So, ready to set sail? Let's go. Ah, first, we must drink to the wind, to good fortune, and to the strength of my Atropos. Anchors away. Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not afeard of dying. Rob every corpse that washes up on shore? Taken from a corpse ain't theft. I'm a man of the isles. I don't reap. I don't sow. The waves bring me my harvest. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ord Skellig. 
There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you'd think she was a beached orca. Fact is, even those who see her for a wench would gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Jennifer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to Kertrolda? Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. That's it, Roach. You need not do this, child. I know. But I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Ernie should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. Over. It is her decision. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together, they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That 
Will be a good day. New Bran. Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige. So predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Reading my mind again? Hmm. What's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Velen? How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf. Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake, and I'll not accept any excuses. I've an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I have something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Take it easy. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me, but on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my penchant for long conversations. I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. Everyone's got their style. 
We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krat wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. We wanted to talk to Krak on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Saris. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holga Blackhand. Blue boy Lugas, Madman Lugas' firstborn. And choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. The wakes in full swing. Lost sight of yous. Who won? Ceres, proving she's her brother Yalmor's equal in every way. She retrieved the axe from the cliff. Cannot be. Now I know why Yalmor named you Sparrowhawk. Enough of the matter and let's drink. To Ceres. Pass the mead and a tankard for the man. To Bran. Me want for nothing in the world beyond. To my beautiful companion. You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Not Skelliger's called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs. But Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully melty, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some diversion. And here I was ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak. Show us what you're made of. Move the benches. There's to be some gob slapping. Had enough? Still 
fancy in spots, room rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction sorceresses are needed, deeply so. No offense taken. Forget about it. That I like. And the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your poor witcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor. Meet him for an ale at the tavern near Aaron Bjorn. Then you put a short jaunt to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our neck. Sure, I'll knock one back with you, Lugos. Nothing wrong with having a drink in good company. I remind you we've important matters to discuss later. Matters that require a clear mind. I remember. Drink like you fight, and we're in for a good time. To Bran! To Jarl Madden and Lugos and his madness. Forgive us. We should mingle, talk to some of the other guests. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct. Behind the tapestry. Sparrows chip when starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble and cranes whoop. Whereas peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves they coo. That's all of them. Mm. What about nightingales? All right. Nightingales croon. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> This'll be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. Seen uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. Amazing how a hobby can render a man mysterious. Fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. 
Had one at Kaer Morin. <sighs> Please. A hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods. Looks alive. A basin of water? For teleprojection. A reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Ah. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. I can feel them coming closer. They're everywhere. What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals. Sword flailing. I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, oh, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Erberos must be here. Wondrous world of insectoids. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Raymond... A sword in a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial Alchemist. A goat carved out of linden wood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Goes in for light reading, too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hardy. Dwarven Triple Mead. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. 
The islanders believe the wraiths sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. A child's skull. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. What do you say we give it a pine cone? Hmm, nothing. So, statue, how about a skull? Hmm, guess you're no indecisive prince. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh, seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. This is it. It. We must return to the feast quickly before... <laughs> Still closed. Gotta think of something quick. Damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. 
first thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. 